Welcome to the next episode of Podcast Tonight. Today I'm going to talk about how my favorite shoes define my personality. Could this get any better? Anyways, let's begin. Over a long period of time in my earlier college days I was introduced to a sitcom friends soon enough trying too hard to be funny and sarcastic like my favorite character Chandler Bing became natural I went on for weeks imitating his character and cracking jokes but only end up saying his character lines not just friends though I was obsessed with how I met your mother then Brooklyn 99 among many others these are the golden years of web series am I right You sit yourself down in front of the TV after a long day at work and decide to start watching that new show everyone has been talking about. Cut to midnight and you have already completed half of a season and you find yourself tempted to stay up to watch just one more episode even though you know you'll be paying for it at work the next morning. It happens to the best of us. Thanks to streaming platforms like Netflix and Amazon Prime, we're granted access to several hundred show options that we can watch all in one sitting for a monthly fee. What a time to be alive, right? Did you know over 360,000 people watched all 9 episodes of Stranger Things second season on the first day it was released? Watching episodes after episodes of a show feels good, but why exactly is that? Well, it turns out it's due to the chemicals being released in our brain. When engaged in an activity that is enjoyable such as binge watching, your brain produces dopamine, which is why we continue to keep watching episodes to feel good. And I think the creators know this because there is not one episode that does not end with a cliffhanger it's like i reach the end of the episode and i literally have to watch the next one and then it continues until you reach the end of the season and then you regret watching it so quickly because the second season has not even released yet Well coming back to the topic people have different tastes and different reasons for liking what they like some people like thrillers and drama because it gives them both goosebumps and the opportunity to put their mind at work And sometimes they like watching the same genres because they need to pass the time with something entertaining and hooky. The majority of people watch a vast array of genres and then they have only one or few favorites. Not necessarily because it corresponds to their personalities, but because it's in that moment or period of lives the emotional triggers they seek. Some people seek the same emotional triggers all their life. For example, I'll probably bend towards fantasy fiction all my life because I enjoy seeing a whole new world built and created in fiction. and it's out of the box ideas but that does not really say much except the fact that they enjoy talking and hearing about the shows there may be different reasons for people for liking the kind of shows they do i like fantasy because i want to see how well they put out of the box ideas in a dome to cover the storyline someone else might like fantasy fiction movies because after a long hard day they just want to get further away from reality to their safe space some people like detective shows or science fiction movies or shows because they want to keep their minds active and and working and looking for something in the visual representation of the show now i like few genres and some shows can be an eye opener to me i generally dislike romance shows or movies but there are movies like kimi no wa which is simply so wonderful to just exist my personality adopts to this new information in the show and can use it to my advantage I mean come on there must be a time when you're watching a show and you're unaware of an information in it right now you get to know it and relive the experience with the character shows like Brooklyn 99 and Modern Family they are not afraid to show the other side of the society like racial profiling and LGBTQ discrimination these shows are not only sitcoms but they are very informative about many things i was unaware about We are sensory beings. Most of our things of interest develop from watching shows and movies. I mean, I like different kinds of art because I first saw an art gallery in a show years back. Not only that, but I discovered some of my interest watching shows. For example, I discovered journaling. I was fascinated by the idea of keeping a secret journal, and I discovered about walkie-talkies in a show. Although I never got them, but at that point of time, I didn't knew something like that existed. I was introduced to this horror genre shows, and I don't like that genre. Shit, scared of horror movies. is a shows but the show supernatural was not only the first horror and thriller movie i watched but i watched over 12 season of it and it was worth getting nightmares for and now it's time for the finale topic question which is after watching a show or a movie my personality starts copying some character from the show until few days and then it goes away with time well it's a common question as well as a very common phase 
it is very natural to get influenced by different roles of or models of exposure more you identify with such characters the more is the impact you may also note that according to you those characters are more powerful than your own personality they overwhelm you with their success achievements success stories and maybe they are very cool with their witty nature in other words they are everything you want to be someday it may also be that you lack role models and try to find them in the shows you watch and in the characters you really admire not only in movies or shows Sometimes in anime too ever since I was small I admired Goku his straight of never giving up had inspired me a lot in my middle school So here's the thing when we're watching something we're basically walking in their shoes and reliving them their struggles their hardships it's inspiring and it's perfectly fine to adapt some of these qualities as long as they align with your own personality for example i have adopted this trait of not judging people too soon be- before i get a chance to actually talk to them because that usually turns out bad for the people in the shows i have watched and i have also experienced this in my life later in other cases you find some of your traits in the character in a show you see yourself in that character and notice how they turn out in the next seasons and you tie up that information with your own to track your own progress because because some things say that they are you and you relate to them now this brings us to the last topic comfort shows and comfort characters what are they i'm sure you're familiar with them uh, characters you relate to so much that every time you binge watch the show they are in your spotlight Now just like I had said I love every show for something Friends is my comfort show because my friend circle is really small That show has a story of six best friends having jobs and living their lives together and supporting each other Now that's something I have craved for years and so I like the whole show I like how I met your mother because at one point of time I was like Ted a hopeless romantic his goofy nature was very relatable I love the office because I would love to come to work every day if I had a boss like Michael. Now, with your favorite characters, you start to get attached with them because there is some part of you who has lived through them. So every time you see them again, there is this resemblance. So then you start to relate to them from other shows as well. Like Monica Geller from Friends, she has this OCD habit of where things should be. Also has this habit of being super organized. Now I slowly notice how Amy Santiago from Brooklyn Nine-Nine and Claire Dunphy from Modern Family also has this exact same habit. Since you have been attached to this one character, it's easy to know which more characters you see the same way. That builds a connection for many characters actually. Now I think we have reached the end of the episode here and I just want to say that your personality can be inspired when you're watching some show and it's normal and sometimes it helps you add some habits and make you see a different viewpoint when you're walking through their shoes not to mention you explore new genres and know new things about yourself and I think I have covered all the topics I wanted to for today well then I'll see you in the next episode good day